For centuries, this island has been haven to adventurers. Once they brought gold, gained by blood and cannon fire. Then others came with heavy tackle and powerful boats, for the treasure they seek is alive and living in the deep. Now joining the fleet is a new breed. Lightly armed and built for travel, they search the world over for angling's richest rewards. This series documents their adventures, which nearly always begin and end here on this island. It's called Walker's K, a natural jewel set in the richest angling waters in the northern Bahamas. Chief angler is Flip Pallet, guide, teacher, and official keeper of the Walker Chronicles. On Walkers, where tales of high angling adventure are served with every meal, the new breed gathers to trade stories, plan trips, and to feed a rich tradition of spoken history. Here, Flip Pallet gives a detailed account of his latest probe into sport fishing's expanding world of light tackle. No, it's 12 o'clock. Left end kind of looks like the head to me. I think so. I, I, I believe this. But... Oh, perfect. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's coming. Good. He's got Good job, buddy. Nice job. Lord. What do you think? Think that I go somewhere else for it? It's getting pretty hard to see. Yeah. I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and pull down this anyway. Let me just pull this thing, a little piece of shoreline. Is that a fish on the point there? What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not bothered, is he at all? No, not a bit. Should we throw a fly at him, you think? Yeah, can you get one quietly? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that's a big toy. I'm not even breathing, man. <sighs> I'm not even breathing. Boy, great eyes, boy, great eyes. He's facing to the right for sure. Good job, nice fish, buddy. Good lord. That's a, that's a chunk of meat right <laughs> he's there. He's off, those are he's off. He off. He's off. <laughs> Did he take some teasing or what? Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I couldn't believe it took him that long. <laughs> Look what he did to the weed guard on this fly. He straightened it completely oh, yeah. out. I guess he did. And a fish so big would take a little bitty fly like this. It's just astounding to me. A fish that clearly was in triple figure size. I'm still shaking. And thank goodness that you said, gee, let's just pull about 20 feet down that shoreline. <laughs> there he was. You just see what's in. Was he one of your trained tarpon? We could send him back in a position, tell him to circle the island, and come back around again. Send that him. was awesome. That was absolutely <laughs> awesome. Flip 
Bob is going back into places so secret and so wild that they're known only to a handful of poachers, smugglers, and fishermen. Places hard enough to find in the daytime, but impossible to leave at night. And Flips waited for the dawn more than once with John Donnell, also a professional guide. Though it's their day off, they're headed for the office. Boy, I love these Everglades, yeah. you know? Oh, I feel it. There's no matter where I go, I always come home to these Everglades. It's always the place I love to be. Yeah, it's amazing that they put this much land aside, you know, for this park. Both were born in Miami, an unlikely doorstep to one of the great wildernesses in North America. Today, Flip travels by airboat where once he walked as a boy. Across the great sawgrass prairies, wide as the sky and alive with deer and black bear, panther and alligator. Flip once marched to a more insistent cadence known as nine to five. And like many of us, he struggled to stay in step. Then one day he had a long talk with himself, threw away his business suit and came home to the Everglades. And there's no place quite like it. A river of grass sighing in the sweet Florida wind. Vast, changing, remote, and never wholly known. Though its borders are crowded by the great urban leviathan, it still calls to those who love it and holds treachery for those who don't. In a way, the Everglades is the mother of us all our past living in the present. It's where Flip Pallet and John Donnell often go to meet their own histories. And for them, the ticket back is fishing. You know, I've been trying to figure out what this pelican is doing here, John. He is catching something in there. <laughs> Go get him. And if you see any tarpon, let me know. Flip tarpon right here, right on this point, right off the dead tree, right off the dead tree. Okay, this, okay, okay, I see him. I see him, I see him. Dude, nice cast, Flip. Okay, they're moving to the right, Flip. No, 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 they're going back to the left again. They're going in circles. I need to get us... Oh, Flip. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, boy. Oh, ah. Get him, buddy. He's still, he's dying to eat that. Go back. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm going to try to get you back down on him, okay? Okay. Ooh, oh. <laughs> John, no, I, no, no, go ahead. I'm sorry, man. No, no, flip. No, don't worry about me, man. Go. Good, good, good. He's coming. Here he comes. Good job. John Donnell, you've got eyes I can't even believe. He is getting ready to go nuts. Whoa, whoa. He's leaving don't town. Tell. Like an electric alarm, the first run of the tarpon quickens the pulse and puts the angler on notice. Because the tackle is light, the connection between angler and fish is strong. She may be coming up here. And the level of life seldom gets higher at either end of the line. He gets line back good. Yes. Well, that's good. Holy. That's a nice fish. All right, flip. So near, yet so far. <laughs> You're not getting old, are you? Yes. <laughs> it's the calendar. <laughs> what? Well, I never saw that coming. Pretty sad. Uh, gonna get ready. I'm going to grab these gloves out. I'm down for a second here.
Groaning and popping through the guides, Flip's carefully tied leader knots are tested against the combined force of the tarpon's weight, strength, and leverage. Come on, big boy. Popped him off. I think I was playing him too close. For Flip, the disappointment of the lost tarpon quickly dissolves as a swallow-tailed kite describes freedom more eloquently than the finest poet's finest touch. And though Flip has never been caught speaking verse, he has a poet's heart for most everything in the Everglades. My favorite tree is this cabbage palm, the sable palm right here. You know, that's the, uh, it's really a sable palm and the old time Floridians call them cabbage palms. And it's right up there high on that palm where those boots stick out, just under the green leaves. If you were to open that tree up magically somehow, there would be the heart of the palm tree right in there. And that's the animal that has to die. That whole tree has to die before somebody can eat hearts of palm yeah. in their salad. A little later, thoughts turned back to fish and fishing. You know, I'm anxious to catch one of these things and show you something. A fellow from, that spent a lot of time fishing in the Everglades showed me a way to hold these snook that actually paralyzes them. Have you ever seen that? Where you <laughs> that by the jaw? No. Or by, or you, lay them, you lay them in the palm of your hand on their side, just like mm -hmm. this, and kind of drape them over right. your hand. They'll lay there till they die. Just what, right behind, uh, just right by his yeah. peck fins there? Incredible. How are we doing? Huh. He just lays there and lays there. Sounds well, neat. Boy, it'd be a great way to handle them. Let's see if we can find a big one. Oh, we're going to get a big one. Get a great big While fish. John conducts their busman's tour with his push pole, Flip probes the pockets of the mangroves, the dark tangled layers of the snook, one of the Everglades' most honorary game fish. Right here. Ooh, nice chaos. With each cast, Flip pushes the clatter and ring of the city back a little farther, while overhead another kite rides the freshening wind. All right, Flip, what's got there? All right, nice snook, Flip. Good job, buddy. Good job. Listen, I'm gonna just fork you away, okay? Watch your rod, watch your rod. Okay. Coming up, boy. That's a nice, yeah, that's a nice fish, Flip. Good work, John. What's happened? What's boy, happening? That was great, the way you moved me offshore there. Boy, that's a pretty fish, Flip. Baby. Boy, there, I'd love to see him come out of trees like that. Well, he just appeared. Ready? Oh yeah, you bet. No, on his side, it's gotta be on his side. That's it. Try the Vulcan snook. It really <laughs> works, doesn't it? It really works. Just... That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. He'll lay there for a month. That is, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that is incredible, that really is incredible. <laughs> How do you come up with all this? Stuff? I don't know, I don't know. It's magic. That is amazing, the Vulcan snook. Grass. Paralyzer. Yeah. <laughs> With the Star Wars technique properly demonstrated, Flip and John begin their slow laps back in time. Oh, these snook always know where those trees are. Hey. There we go, there we go. Nice fish. Yeah, the old beautiful redfish. Isn't Flip, that is a dandy. This is a dandy, dandy redfish. This is a really a good one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boy, he shrunk. He shrunk. He got swallowed. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, just thunk. 
Released from the pressure to find fish for their clients, these two men, who have been exploring the glades since their boyhoods, slowly approach the shoreline of their youth. And the years fall away like autumn leaves, until even their speech echoes that of a couple of other American kids named Tom and Huck. All right. Good snook, good snook. For Flip Pallet, who has set numerous world records and banked enough game fish for a dozen angling lives, the edge has never dulled. Boy, that dark, mysterious looking water. You know, I'm just for the heck, I'm gonna give you one more push backwards here. Yet he plays each fish not with the heart of a predator, but with a deep appreciation for its place in the natural world. Well, that was pretty, Flip. Nice job. We can do the... Okay. Gotta be flat. It is amazing. Now take the, now take the, wait, take the jig out and everything. What a, what a view. Well, I don't even know where he came from. Just out of the gloom there. What? Well, look, two o'clock over here. Look at that. What is that? What is that? Is that a moccasin? That's a rattlesnake. He's got that mask across the front of his, you know, yeah, he's got uh -huh. that mask on the front of yeah. his face. And what a pretty snake. Look at the markings on it. What could he be doing out here? What could he be eating out here in these mangroves? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yes. How high he is in the water. He's beautiful. Yeah. They're not great swimmers, though, are they? Look. No, he's really tired. Yeah, boy. He knows where home is. What are you, is that a, I guess that's a big or a small diamond back. I thought it might be a big pig. Uh, what are a, you, a herpetologist? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any idea what kind of fly to use for a rattlesnake. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a mouse. A mouse or not? You have a big mouse? <laughs> More tarpon action coming up. Flip and John move farther up the Shark River, one of the main arteries of the Everglades. Their destination, Tarpon Bay. And with each twist and turn, they probe deeper into a wilderness with so many islands, they stopped counting at 10,000. No one can claim full knowledge of the Everglades, not Flip or John, nor all those who have lived here. Not the hunters, trappers, rum runners, poachers, and just plain folk. Each gets to know a share of it, but in time, each has to bow to its unconquerable nature, full of light and mystery. Airplanes in wow. here. Wow. Is... Wow. Hmm. Look at this one right here. Look at this. What a bunch of orchids and. Look at the pasture. Orchids. It opens all the way up in the back there. Look how it opens up back in there. Boy, oh. in, this, in this beautiful. These wild pines. Look, which one? Where's the orchid at? I can see the airplanes here. Look up on the. See the wild pine right up here? Just where uh -huh. my finger's pointing. Uh -huh. See the dark green shafts that are coming down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Those are, right. That's a uh, epidendrum gotcha. tampansi. I gotcha. And Look at these strap ferns back here. What an impotentum. It's honest no, to God, it's the only it. Latin on. thing I know how to say. An osprey feeds its family, while within sight of the nest, a lemon shark swaggers across the shallows of Tarpon Bay.
That is a serious shark, isn't it? Or That's why you do your tarp leaders flip. Does that that improve blood knot? Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. be doing. Well, it's a pretty knot. I've always liked the way it comes out. I've, I don't know why I haven't used it. I've always used that huff nagel, but this is, just makes a lot of sense. I've always used this knot, and it's easy and quick to tie. This is the one that pulls off, pulls off real straight, and uh, it's 100% knot, real tight. The improved blood knot is soon put to use. Yeah, right there, wait, wait, let me, see, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, let me, let me turn about, I think she's moving to the left a little bit. She's still laying right there. Okay, right about there, flip. He's laid up. Um, okay, now here, ah. Oh, you see him out there, he's a little, a little more to the left, flip. Just a, a hair, a little more to the left. Okay, right, he's right at 12 o'clock now. 12? Okay, I'm gonna get you a little closer, buddy. Try to get inside of him. Yeah, I bit. will. Okay, do you see him out there? Not yet, John. How okay, far? He's right. Point your rod. Look, she's straight ahead of the boat. Okay, little, I see him. I got him. I got okay. him. I got him. Left end kind of looks like the head I, to I, me. I think so. I, I, I believe this, but. Oh, Good job, buddy. Nice job. Good lord. What a beautiful bite. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Okay, good job. That's a big fish. We're off to the races. Just pull, just pull hard, John. This is unbelievable. He is just cleaning us down to the bottom of this school. God. Joe's, I'm down to about six wraps of line oh, here. Man, you want me to crank flip? No. Want wait, wait, he's just slowing down. Oh, man. Wait, I'm getting some line back. Whoa. Those don't even slow down, buddy. You're doing great. We're getting line right now. It's terrific. And don't worry about overrunning it because I've got this fast okay. retrieved reel. Boy, this is as fast well, that is nice, as this body can reel. <laughs> Put your finger in the hole. Oh, what? Yeah, I don't think you see. Oh, what happened? What happened? Is think he, he off? Just, I think he just let go. No, I flip. I think he might be coming back at us. I don't think so. No, okay. I think the game is over, and I think he won. You sure? Wrong. No. Nope. You were Wrong right. Again. He's coming back. There he is. He's still there. He just God. made a U-turn. A reprieve. Look at it. <laughs> Aware that the balance tilts towards the fish with each passing minute, Flip applies the pressure and the tarpon answers with an awesome display of air power. Boy, oh, what are you going on? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where he's going? <laughs> Look at his bottom, so soft, but it's Okay, get... that's all right. Okay, he's turning. He's turning. <laughs> Just blew a little air. Boy, are we lucky. That fish is hooked right on the top of the lip. Otherwise, he'd have worn through that 30-pound shock tippet. Oh, you can see him so beautifully right here. Well, look how green that fish looks in that water. God, what a... 
coming up for air. A little remora following her. Nope. Ah. I think this is it. Okay. It does. I don't want to put a lot of pressure. She's coming toward us. This ain't your last shot now, Dose. Don't worry. Oh, disappointment. Disappointment. We almost had her. We almost had her. She is the flip. She hasn't seen a hundred in a while, I don't think. This is really a big fish. Let's see if we can get her around by the tail. Oh, gosh, she is gorgeous. You've been exploded. Oh, dude. I am paralyzed, man. Oh, yeah, she's swimming off. Oh! Yeah, good job. <laughs> Keep an eye what? on her just for a second. Hey, way to go. That's a good job. <laughs> oh, my job. She's swimming good. She's, yeah, she's just eating. God, that was amazing. For Flip Pallet and John Donnell, the tarpon is the centerpiece of their professional lives. For each seeks it at least 200 days a year. But beyond its value as a source of income, the tarpon is a true reflection of their beloved Everglades. Powerful, mysterious, and free.